Yeah, buddies, uh, believe it or not, Ripley's Believe It or Not style, the Bennington <laughs> Show is live today. All hands on deck. Ron Bennington. Gail Bennington. Yo. Uh, Joey Jojo Bennington. Zips. Did Vito make the scene today? Vito did make the scene. Is he in here? Oh, man. <laughs> you look rough, dude. <laughs> Guys? Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic <laughs> all right now let's go to the big gun he just uh washed his face and hair over t- top of the trash can it's our own stanley bennington what's up everybody <laughs> <laughs> hey how's, how, how's everyone doing this morning or afternoon <laughs> what, is it, dude? what time is it <laughs> Um, oh, St- you know what? No matter how much uh, Stanley drinks, Stanley s- scopes. You got to go yeah. with that. He never stops scoping. I don't remember scoping anything last night. Well, last uh, night was the uh, Interbank threw us a Christmas party. Um, why? The Interbank cares. I love that. All right. Let me uh, just go over. Here is what we had to eat last night. Krepla. And that is like a deep fried uh, dumpling filled with meat. Mm. So good. The chopped liver with schmaltz, uh, which is schmaltz. pure chicken fat. Uh, salad, untouched. Uh, <laughs> kishka, which is a stuffed cabbage, mm. uh, which was Gail's favorite. Uh, a garlic sausage, which I can't even think of the name of. It's like. Guy was good. Karma Salak or something like that. Uh, then grilled chicken, skirt steaks, silver dollar potatoes, potatoes lakas with applesauce, uh, mashed potatoes with schmaltz, and something called greven, which I don't even know what that was. Um, and then we ended it up with some arugula and egg creams and four uh, bottles cased in ice. Of Tito's vodka, we made the four. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. I um remember going into three. <laughs> Don't remember four. When you were asking for four, you had mistakenly, and I was stopping the waiter. You told him that we needed four bottles <laughs> of vodka rather than we want our fourth bottle. <laughs> four <laughs> bottles of vodka, please. Oh shit! Uh, all by be- being serenaded by the lovely Donny Love. Uh, who is an old school insult comic <laughs> slash organ singer <laughs> slash pervert? <laughs> it was fucking. Perver- and maybe should be number one. Yeah, pervert probably first and foremost. <laughs> He's the fucking best. That man is the shit. He was so great. I can't believe how much I love. Donnie Love. Well, we were there for four hours. Really? And he did four (laughs) hours of insult comedy and songs, none of which was originally created by him. (laughs) It was cover songs and fucking hack stock jokes. And it was fucking hilarious. Remember the word Shitska? Came up with Shitska? Came up a lot. (laughs) He was obsessed with different things. Uh, here's how he defines people by their <laughs> ethnic background. I mean, I know fucking people act like you can't be politically incorrect these days. This fucking guy was like literally politically offensive. <laughs> like the things that he said, everything out yeah. of his fucking mouth, yeah. was fucking terrible. It was yeah. insane. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. I couldn't, for what I remember, I couldn't fucking like. I'm talking about like the hours one and two. Yeah. Is I fucking got. I was like, why is he saying these things? This is fucking crazy. Someone's going to punch him in the fucking face. All right, Paulie says the fact that you're even here is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. First of all, thank you uh, to the Interabang. Thank you so much. That was a blast. And obviously, Amazing. you know, Chris, it makes it easier for us to do promos for Tito's, knowing what a, a, a perfect product it is. Um. Now, Chris was as drunk as drunk could be, and he was drunk like a, I'll just say a mean man, okay? <laughs> really? Uh, drunk yeah. as, as a mean man yeah. was pretty much it. Yeah. A mean man drunk. Gail had a nice dancing buzz going on, enjoying the night, uh, caring about others. <laughs> 
Vito was a happy uh, three-year-old throughout <laughs> the night. <laughs> Any song made Vito happy. <laughs> People dance and Vito's happy. He was, he's a happy guy. It makes him so youthful. But when the whole room got up and started to dance the Jewish dances and yeah, we're, yeah. you know, we're going around the room, Vito has a look on his face like we're all together. <laughs> he just loved the world. <laughs> now, Joey Jojo, uh, I'm going to put it this way. He's a mystery to me. Okay. Um, obviously he's drinking. Uh, I see him also pick up a girl out of her table, start to Whoa. dance. Yeah. Go in for a hug. Boom. They start to go <laughs> sideways into a table. Their friends separated. Another time I see Joey come out of the bathroom and a guy jump up and just grab Joey and the two of them start to dance. What? And I'm saying. He is a mystery. But then at the end of the night, as we're trying to get Chris to leave, as what? we were asked to by the establishment. What? And you were, because you were <laughs> off sitting at odd seats. No. In the back kitchen area. Are you fucking kidding you me? No. And then you just went up and just sat in a chair and wouldn't get up. So we sent Vito in. Holy shit. And I'm like, so I keep trying to look through the window and I'm like, where the fuck is Chris at? I go. He's starting to drive me crazy. So uh, I go, he's got to fucking, you know, start heading home. And uh, uh, Joe is sitting on a stoop, someone's fucking stoop of their home. And he goes, yeah. Yeah, it's gotten. Uh, I go, he's fucking sideways. And Joe goes like this. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I'm sideways right now. <laughs> and I want to head back to Bushwick. And and he's fucking talking like that, and it's so measured. And I see he's getting lit up, and he goes something, and he goes like this. And Chris has really been acting like an asshole, making me and Vito drink for shots for the last three hours. And it was so so fucking intense and serious. I'm like. I don't know where to cast this kid. <laughs> I don't know where he goes. Well, you don't like vodka? Come on. Uh, I, every I, time we, he, he would like bring the vo bottle around and every time he would quote, quote, call us a pussy. <laughs> if we didn't drink and I didn't want to be quote, a pussy. <laughs> Wait, you guys, pussies here. I'm going to top you off right now. I was shocked because Joe seemed to have it together until I actually called him to check on him to make sure he got in his cab. Yeah. And then I was on the phone with him and was like, whoa, he is a lot drunker than I realized. Maybe because he had been standing next to Chris previous to that. Right. And yeah. so nobody looked exactly. drunk compared to Chris. Yeah. And I got on the phone with him. He, first of all, you answer the phone like this. What? <laughs> Come on. And I was like, what? hey, hey, buddy, I was just checking the scene. And he goes, yeah. I'm in a cab. <laughs> I'm in the cab now. What do you mean? What? I took the train home. <laughs> Fucking sassy. I'm telling you. I you took the J train. A, you told me you were in a cab. <laughs> you told me you were in a cab. Yeah, I'm in a cab. And I was like, okay, buddy, just checking on Everybody you. Everybody kind of exploded <laughs> out of that place. I mean, once we got fucking Chris situated. But then you disappeared and... I'm like, was she heading home? Is can, is she underground? What is going on? Vito was wandering off. He was gone. What? Um, it was. I know when uh, I uh, there was some talk to Vito. You were going out after. Yeah, I had another holiday party. To go to, <laughs> Did you right? go to it? Yeah, I went to it. And I showed up. I didn't even think I was that drunk after I left the holiday party. And I walked into my other holiday party just screaming. <laughs> and everybody was like, you just got here. And I was like, let's fucking go. Here's so. the thing. He <laughs> is of an age where he's just calling these things holiday parties because he doesn't want to be offensive. Come he's on. a non-offensive non founder. I'm a, I'm a Christmas justice warrior. And I'm fucking fighting against everyone against this war on Christmas. It's a Christmas party, Vito. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh god. Oh boy.
Yeah, look at look at the fucking North Korean over there. <laughs> Constantly with North Korea. Anyone Asian with North Korea. Everyone Asian in that place he called North Korean. Called and a black guy Mr. President all night. All night. <laughs> and he looked nothing like nothing, the president. Nothing. Not even slightly. One of not the black guys. Not even skin color. Not mm-hmm. even like they, they shared that. Like one of the black guys he called Mr. President had dreadlocks. So it wasn't even You know, close. like Obama. <laughs> Mr. President. But uh, to watch uh, this one... One Asian guy come into the restaurant for the first time with his group, and the first thing that he hears is Donnie Love scream, Oh, look, another North <laughs> Korean. And to watch this sober man suddenly yeah. just look around like, Did that guy just call me North Korean? All right, here's what the, the, the club is uh, like. <laughs> If you saw Inglorious Bastards, it has the same setup as that basement bar and as easily as dangerous. At one point he goes, you guys worried that the fucking roof is going to come down on us? And I'm like, now I am, dude. Yeah, now I am. And it's just covered in pictures that look like people partying that way in the 1970s. There, there was no fucking pictures Fucking younger than seventy nine. It's, it's it's exactly the same. Yeah, and so's Donnie. It's lit. Yeah, Donnie's been there forever. Um, <laughs> but you know the fucking intensity of people walking into that room. It's the same thing that if you walked into a fucking knife fight somewhere, yeah. you know, and you're like, do I help or do I run? Do I flee? Do I call the police? And you could tell by the tape, because it's like all big parties come in, you don't go in there as an individual, because it's just this <laughs> raucous fucking, as if the Jews had single-handedly won World War II, <laughs> you know, <laughs> attitude that's going on. And there is no escaping that you will be caught up in it, but it takes each table longer as they come in. So if you're in there earlier in the night, you're already crazy and people are staring at you. But the people who are staring at you within an hour are going to be fucking crazy, too. Right. <laughs> I think if you didn't put the vodka bottles in ice, no. people would relax, you know? No, no, no. There's a giant <laughs> bottle of vodka in a giant, like an even, even more giant block of ice in the middle of the table. And there's multiple fucking, it, it's crazy. It's fucking, it feels crazy pouring fucking drinks out of a fucking piece of ice. Well... I don't know how somebody who could say they felt crazy when they obviously are crazy. Um, I think there's a, a a gif of Chris going on from the egg cream thing. Uh, do you remember the end of the nights when we got egg creams? I this is the, this is the le- this is the last thing I remember from last night. The steak. That is the last thing I remember. The steak coming. I remember eating it. At least the first bite, enjoying it. Dude, at one point we called you Fred Flintstone because you took this giant slab of meat that was meant to be cut up and threw it on your plate and started gnawing on it. You just stuck your fork into it and just juice went flying. Oh, no. (laughs) Mine. (laughs) Oh, the steak was delicious. Everything uh, was so good. That's literally the last thing I remember before I woke up today. Well... We were looking for a fun guy, and you were the runaway hit. (laughs) And as I I made this fucking prediction, like Nostradamus, that you would. There's the gift. Oh (laughs) Jesus Christ! Why? Why would I do that? (laughs) No. So look at Vito and Joe's face as he does. All right, let me try to explain to um, (laughs) my God, my fellow Christians around the country, what an egg cream is. (laughs) It's kind of milk and chocolate and seltzer all mixed up. It's delicious. They make a massive crazy deal out of it. But you wouldn't think that this would be a dessert item after a night of drinking. No. <laughs> and it is. But there you see Chris drink the, the bucket. Oh, God. Uh, the egg cream he attempts to put on his face. Now... <laughs> Here's the weird thing, because this also looks like a 1970s movie, <laughs> like a Super 8. Now that we've seen Chris act like a maniac, look, just watch in the background, you see Joe disgusted by his actions, and you see Vito incredibly happy. <laughs> but, but Joe looks like that kid with an alcoholic father who saw his dad piss himself in public. At one point in the night, in those tiny... uh bottles the glasses that we had i saw chris drink vodka 
quicker than I had ever <laughs> seen someone drink vodka before. <laughs> he literally inhaled it, a full glass, just opened it up literally one second. <laughs> that. And it was all gone, all gone. Can't yeah. be good. Now, in this video here, you yes. can see my, in this GIF, I guess, this GIF. <laughs> You can see my hand appear on the left, and it's so expressive, in which I try to stop him from <laughs> drinking vodka, and then just my fist being like, oh, I just, that's nah, not going to happen. I can't stop him. <laughs> Here comes, uh, uh, okay, uh, there's nothing I can do. He is out of control. <laughs> don't know why I would give everyone the finger after I... Pounded in egg cream and vodka. <laughs> because you were fucking born to be wild. At that <laughs> Your point. signature move of the night. Real, I was throwing the finger up a lot, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, uh. Yeah, you're really cool. To your friends, family. Uh, that's not Strangers. Good. Well, um. So what, uh, so we were, what time did we leave? Because I honestly don't remember. What time did we leave? Wait, well, hold on. I see another video is going up on how to make the egg creams. That's pretty cool. Oh. All right, put that up on it's the eye bang has just put it up and you can see during this this was kind of because i i remember this in real time that chris was few, the it's up on the on the um twitter but chris was trying to fucking pop a scope out <laughs> and oh, he couldn't no. pull it off oh no in time and then he of course wanted joe to do it Oh, God. All this right, is... so turn this up. Okay. But you can see them making egg creams for us. All right, here we go. Do I wait? Hold up, hold up, motherfucker. Come on. Uh, you're going to get a little soggy. All right. Since I can remind it, I'm in mean, no hurry to drink another one. I think you're trying to title the thing fucking Jew or something. They don't let you write fuck in the scope headline. So anyway, that was the uh, entire thing. If you want to see uh, how to make a proper egg cream. But at that point of the night, Chris was already pretty lit. There's a couple of things that stick out for me. Number one, okay. a couple of the people who left early. Who said, left early? Uh, Gurian <laughs> and a representative from Sirius XM. And they both acted like, man, Chris can really drink. But if you would have missed after that, it's when it all hit you. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's when you started to grab at people. And no. yeah, uh, please. Uh, I'm going to give you a certain Christmas present right now. Okay. And not bring up something that I, and I believe I alone. No. Really? Merry Christmas, Chris. Thank you, Ron. You are more than welcome. Now, having said that, yeah. it may come out in a fight that me and you are having later. Okay. But as of now, okay. since I'm not angry with you, yeah. I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> but just remember, yeah. the next time that you have an argument with me, I have my finger on a button. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have one in the chamber? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. To call it that a chamber? 
is too small. Oh, no. Oh, it's major. So, um, and I would, well, no, I'm not going to say anything because I would give it away. <laughs> Thank you. But, so that was weird. The other thing that's weird, and I never knew about Chris Stanley as long as I've known him, he starts to open his shirt last night. And underneath his shirt, he was wearing a blue wrestling <laughs> leotard from the 1930s. I don't remember this at all. Why would I open my shirt? Why would I do that? Well, Donnie Love asked you to. It was really what she said. <laughs> really, Donnie, Donnie? Donnie was pushing you. Donnie said, <laughs> unbutton your shirt. He asked you to take off your shirt. Bullshit. I'm yeah. telling you, and you listened. And, you know, Donnie Love asked a lot of people. To expose themselves. But you were the only one who agreed to Hey, do it. look at big tits, huh? Uh, big tits. Right next to big tookies, huh? <laughs> look at that tookies. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't... I, t- I wish you all I am. That means that's Jewish because I want to fuck you. <laughs> okay? Holy fuck. Well, I don't remember nothing of that. Literally. Why, why were you wearing a blue wrestling leotard? Do you fucking. Couldn't tell you. I don't even know where that shirt is right now or leotard, whatever it is. Um, so what time did, did it end? So we got there at 615, about 1015 or so. We were wrapping it up. Okay. Cause four straight hours of getting hammered. Uh, we, we finally got you out of the building. Why wouldn't I leave? Does anyone know? The only way that you would leave is, well, first of all, I was so furious with fucking Vito because I go over and Vito was just standing next to him <laughs> when he's supposed to be taking him out. Just standing next to him nicely. Because every time I asked him, I said, hey, we got to go. They're getting really mad. He said, I'm fucking sitting. And I was like, what? hey, man, <laughs> we got to leave. And he kept going. I'm fucking sitting. All right, now, how long did it take me to get him up and moving? Second you came over, he saw you and he was ready to get yeah. <laughs> And I'm over there. And I'm I like, said, we got to get the fuck out of here. And I was, like, I was like, fucking around. When he was standing in the chair in the back, I was like, yo, let's get fresh air. And he was like, no, I like it here. <laughs> and I was like, could you at least like move to a different chair? And he wouldn't move. I know, because they were mad that you were in there. You're in the back room. Well, you How much did I get up there? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. I think they also tried to kick me out <laughs> at one point because they thought I was Chris. <laughs> and then they realized I wasn't and then just asked me to help Chris leave. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's bad. Well, you know, sorry so about that. Here's what happened. So we get you out on the street. Yeah. And I get you an Uber. The Uber shows up. Uh, we put you in the back seat of the car, and the man immediately starts saying, no, I'm not taking him. He's too fucked up. Oh, and, fuck. Gail, you're opening the door back up. I'm like, shut the door. He has to take him. This is done. We have a fucking thing. I've never seen anyone cancel an Uber. I even went back and looked at my phone to see if they would have started charging me. They never did. They took it off of Uber. Yeah. So because of that, Gail then made the next Uber. We got you in a car. Shut! How long did it take to shut the door? Because his foot. Yeah, you were trying to shut it on your own foot, and I'm literally be like, Chris, put your foot in. So then I plugged your, I plugged your address in, Uh which I I had to get from you. So I only hoped that it was correct. (laughs) And I kept saying to you, "Is this real? Is this really your address?" I kept having to make you say it over and over again. I put you in. We shut the door. I go to call it. That's why I disappeared. I go to call an Uber for myself. Interesting. You can't Uber twice. It is true. You have to wait till your Uber is over. So yeah. I had to go catch like a regular yellow cab, right? So I'm waiting all night to get my receipt because I can't get a hold of you to hear that you got it in into your home. I'm literally waking up in the middle of the night being like, why don't I have a receipt yet? Why don't I have a receipt? I was All just the waiting. Girls checked with me, afraid that you were dead, and they are afraid, you know, that you were choking on your own puke. And I go like <clears> this: <throat> Look, he drinks like this every night. You're just with him tonight, <laughs> but he gets himself. home. I go. I watched him all fucked up, <clears throat> eating a case of fucking burgers, and then going to sleep. Well, <clears throat> last, like I said, the last thing I remember. Is get the steaks being delivered on the um on the table? Right. 
the next uh, yeah, let's let's say I guess that was what nine thirty maybe yeah the next nine hours are a fucking mystery to me because I woke up in the emergency room <gasps> in fucking Mount Sinai Queens <gasps> Hospital with blood caked on the back of my head what there's my new fucking bracelet oh my god I knew it I knew it the girls were right I woke up at six in the morning. To uh, guess a doctor, I guess that would be the person in the side of fucking. Oh my god! Room. And I was like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" Is the first thing I fucking said. Like I woke up with a fucking start. Like I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <gasps> Made a scene, <laughs> and then yelled, "Where the fuck are my clothes?" <laughs> and then the doctor came to me and was like. I was still drunk at this point. I woke up drunk, yeah. obviously. I mean, the, how many bottles of vodka did we fucking? Four? Four. Um, the fucking doctor was like, listen, dude, you you were really fucked up last night. Man, uh, I feel fucking terrible now, dude. I Thank you for saving it for the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my don't, God. Don't. don't know what happened. Got my clothes back. There was vomit on them. <laughs> there was vomit on my shirt. I'm sure you were beat up by an Uber driver. Don't know how I I I, I just learned that I was stuck. It was there was never a receipt? Well, it came in finally, okay. so I'm gonna have to show it to you and tell me is this to your house? Yeah, because um, it has the map of where you were right, dropped let's take off. A look. Yeah, this is yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> These are clues. <laughs> I fucking swear to God, I need clues as to what's happening. Oh yeah, and um. Oh my god, I can't believe I was fucking right. What rating well, did they give you on Uber? <laughs> you know I got a one star from you, you son of a bitch. Woke up with my shades in a biohazard fucking bag. Sure, of course. Um, you still have your shades. The blue blockers made it out. All right, let's so see. there's Yeah, let me um there's the let me cab. Check this shit out. And then it looks Wait, like first of all, this is a $53 fucking thing. Uh, I will. Ex- no. You will get your money back because that, that makes no sense. No, that's not please. A, that's I not had a, a wonderful night. No, 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 no. I'll pay that. But it's... it looks like it went to your house. Here's what I think. I mean, this is your house, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my house. Yeah. All right. So what should have been easily 8 to $10 is $53. What the fuck happened? Well, that I would say. I don't know. This is like the fucking hangover. Well, here's the thing. It is was, there a puke, puke sur- surge anywhere? No. I mean, I know that it was, uh, you know, when they do like the the higher the surge charge yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that okay. was going on because it was late at night or whatever. Maybe, you know, there's like a lot of people Ubering. So I knew that it was going to be like a little more expensive. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because he went a dumb way. But that's your house, right? Yeah, that's my so house. According to this Uber driver, he took you home. And it's GPSed up. So, I mean, it's satellite fucking technology. Yeah. So it's got to be that you at least got to outside of your building if if this is true. And then how the fuck did I get to a hospital? Because I did. How did you get out? Of the hospital? Yeah. Um, I they gave, As soon as they gave me my clothes, I just stumbled out of the fucking place, jumped into a cab, and fucking got, went back to my apartment. I called you at 9 o'clock this morning because I, cause the girls were bothering me. <laughs> and I'm like, when it was ringing, I was like, please pick up. Please fucking pick up. So he's like, hey, boss. You were my uh, wake-up call. <laughs> hey, boss. I'm on my way out the door to the train. And I go, okay, dude. I would have gladly taken today off because I feel like shit just from the food. <laughs> <laughs> the, so, uh, somebody get a picture of Chris with his his thing on and his biohazard. <laughs> Make sure we can see your uh, yeah. wristband. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bracelet. Oh, it's my is birthday that, on it. Is that a little... Uh, how did they, Oh, they must have looked at your license. Yeah. yeah is that yeah. a little bump on your arm, too? Did you have that before? Bruise. Where? A little Here. bruise right there? Oh, no, that's new. That's new. Also, um, 
15 minutes into sitting down for dinner, I also stabbed myself in the hand. Oh, yeah. I, forgot. I remember that. I forgot this part. When I woke up in the hospital, the emergency room, um, my hands were caked in blood. Both hands covered in blood. But from your head, probably? I or? guess my head. I don't know. I fucking don't know what the fuck happened. I mean, there's still blood underneath my fingernails. I keep trying to wash it off. Why didn't you ask any questions? You just didn't want to know? I, dude, I fucking thought it was crazy that I was fucking even there. Like, I thought, this is bullshit. There's no reason for me to be in this fucking room. So I was like, fuck this. Give me my clothes. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't think they even discharged me. I, I remember just, like, stumbling out of the fucking, like, where's the fuck the exit is, I think, I believe, is what I yelled at in the middle of a fucking emergency room. God, I would hate to work in an hospital. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is embarrassing. This is terrible. <laughs> it's bad, right? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> but I, I'm embarrassed, still. Why? Because I felt like we got you in the Uber. They were taking you to your house. You weren't, you know, passed out or anything. But I should have fucking went with you and made sure you got in your fucking bed. No. What, or what fucking simile passes for a fucking <laughs> bed. Facsimile. <laughs> All right, I have the picture. Should I put it? Send it over to them to put on yeah. theirs? All right. Or you can put it up on your Twitter. All we'll right. just retweet it from there. I'll do that now. Well. <clears throat> the weird thing is, I don't know if the fucking cab delivered to me my home. What the fuck happened between, I guess, 11 o'clock and whenever the fuck I was fucking put into a hospital. Now, okay. Th- here's my... Question. I was going to ask a question, but I happen to know yeah. the answer to it, so it doesn't matter. Go I was going to ask you as a clue, did you have money in your wallet, but I remembered you didn't have money in your oh, wallet yeah. anyway. You had no cash. Because you that were taking cash off the boys, which <laughs> oh, no. you just kept putting in fucking Donnie Love's tip cup <laughs> without asking for a song or anything. And I'm like, Chris, because you saw me uh, fucking tip to get Wickland to sing. And that stuck in your craw for some reason. <laughs> you wanted your own thing, but then you weren't even asking for anything. No request at all. No. Not one. Holy fuck! Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pay you guys. I'll, I'll cover. I got to cover this Uber cab. <laughs> this is an expensive night for me. No, he stop also, it! I had a also, wonderful night. No, no, no. Consider us paying for your Uber cab and your hospitalization. A little Christmas present from Sirius <laughs> <laughs> or Silas XM. Give me a show. Give me a fucking show. The Donnie Love Show. I want a Silas show. Give me a pilot. Why wouldn't we do that? Fucking racism radio. <laughs> yeah, so it's a fucking mystery, man. And there's fucking... Yeah, hands covered in blood when I fucking woke up. And um, and there is fucking... There is a head wound in the back of my head. So I don't know if I was fucking beat the fuck up or I fell. Well, you normally don't beat somebody up in the back of their head. Your face is fine. Right? You weren't in a fighting mood. You were in a stumbling mood. Yeah, I'm never in a... Yeah. Uh, You never like a big fighter when it... uh, No, I mean, fucking, you know, not usually, no. So I'm fucking wondering, like, maybe I... like. All right, so did I fall in the street? And then someone called the fucking ambulance or something, or did some did the Uber did it fucking someone take me to a hospital? I don't know. I think know. they would have charged us. Yeah. I th- just thought that too. If you stumbled out of the car, cracked your head on the sidewalk or oh, on the street, fuck. and the Uber driver helped you to the hospital, I think he would have just charged it. Yeah. So if that's to your house and not like stops uh, at your house and goes to the hospital. All right, someone said, look at your bracelet. This is fucking so much like the hangover. It should tell you what time you were dropped off. Okay. Um, what's today's date? Is it the 16th or the 15th? Today's the 16th, right? That's what I have on my thing in front of me. All right. It doesn't give a time unless there's a weird code for the fucking time. But it does say the 15th, so I was dropped off before midnight. Before midnight. Yeah. And then you slept until... Six in the morning. I woke up six. at six in the morning. Went to your house, went back to sleep. Yes. Yeah, so Why that- didn't you just tell me, dude, I had this shit happen, 
Why? Why don't we take today Why off? Would I would have gladly <laughs> taken today off. <laughs> no. I wish somebody at the hospital had answered my calls when right, I was calling see. you. Does it tell you what time Uber dropped him off? Oh, good call. Yes, it will. Oh, Hold shit. On a this, seriously, we're fucking detectives today. <laughs> <laughs> this is so intense. Yeah. Okay, so it was a... Picked up at... T- so he was dropped off at 1036. Okay. So it was a half hour, about a ha- just about a half hour ride. What? It shouldn't have been. No, that's and not a half hour. It's a fucking... me, I made it back to my fucking place in minutes. And I and, called you. You know how fast I got you over. Were home, you were home before me. Yeah. In, in Brooklyn. And then Chris is just over the bridge to a left. Yeah. So, I mean, his ride at most... Should have just been, uh, you know, seven minutes because there was no traffic last night. That's why I don't even think that we were at, what do you call it? Pro, uh, you know, when, normally when they do that extra charge, it's because the streets are, you know, there's no fucking cabs anywhere. And there were last night. We could have put them in a cab. Right. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's not a half hour ride. That is fucking no way. If there was no traffic, definitely not. Let's just see if. Which hospital were you in? Mount Sinai. On the east side? No, no, no. In Astoria. There's like a really shitty Mount Sinai. Is, is it close enough that that could be? Look again at the map. Yeah, show me the map again. Just to make sure that it doesn't look like they If this it, asshole like, took you right to the hospital, <laughs> fucking pushed you outside and let you hit your head, we're not fucking paying him. He's getting one star and we're fucking stopping oh, payment. Oh, believe me. I didn't give him any star rating yet. I was waiting to find out how everything Fuck. turned out. Mm, no, no, because he, he didn't. Dr- it's not. I don't believe that's the. Uh, Is it your house? It looks like my house. Wait. Because we. That's- wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It might be the hospital. It might be the wrong avenue. Or the correct avenue for the hospital, I mean. Because it's close to you, right? Yeah. It's like fucking two avenues. It's like fucking two blocks over. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is bad. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. But there's no way. There's no way. He could have injured himself bad enough inside a cab to need hospitalization. So it had to happen. Did I throw myself out of the cab? Is that what happened? I think what probably happened is he fucking was having trouble with you. Uh, and then. Dropped you off at the, I mean, literally dropped you off head first at the fucking hospital. <laughs> Charged this fucking 50 bucks for a $15 fare and went on with his life. This, pe- you do not give him a good rating. No, don't give any rating yet. No, uh, I'm not gonna no, give a rating. What, what the fuck? He goes over the fucking Williamsburg Bridge. This guy's an asshole. Well, the Williamsburg Bridge is right there. Yeah, but you fucking don't go over the Williamsburg. You go uptown. I, I'm going to agree. I go over uh, up down and take to 59th Street. Williamsburg's always a fucking pain but in Maybe the ass. he was taking hospital right from the get. <laughs> maybe he used his way of how to get to the hospital. But he had to have intended to bring you home because otherwise he would have brought you to a, um, a hospital in Manhattan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or a oh, hospital absolutely. in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. So it must have been he whatever whenever if he really did drop you off at the hospital, he must have decided only when he was within Queens because he went into two other boroughs before that. He drove through Brooklyn to get to Queens. All right, Queen Elizabeth has an idea for us. Hey Ron. Hey Gail. Hey Your Majesty. That? Um the, the hospital will have records of how he was triaged if he walked if he stumbled in by himself, or if somebody dropped him off, or if he arrived via here's, ambulance. Here's the thing, though. Do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't tell him when he woke up screaming. They like, might have, but I was just being very, um, I was, I was, I was still, I was belligerent and pissed drunk. Like, oh, I woke lovely. up pissed drunk. That's lovely. Well, you know, it happens. Yeah, yeah. But that that would be the best way. And if he came in by ambulance, you better be prepared to pay because that's they hate doing that, and they will charge you out the ass for that. Good luck, good luck, in my <laughs> first of all, you're covered, right? Yeah, I am covered. Are, are you yeah. medical? We have yeah. medical here. 
They're still ER um, co-pays with ER. insurance. Yeah. <laughs> ER. Let me tell you. Uh, oh, and can I have one more question? Yeah. Hicks, is this bottom? Or are um, you just going to start digging? Well, this is Christmas party at night, so I'm guessing no, this isn't. Bottom. You're gonna go drink it. You're tonight? not gonna go. Not after we found this part out. There's no way I'm gonna let you go. Well, um, I have Jeffrey Gurin texting me. <laughs> hey, Chris, great time last night. Hope you're okay today. Should we plan on meeting around six at Pasha? <clears throat> Pasha. Yeah, but you just let him know he's giving you a ride home. You're. I'm getting a ride in the Jag. <laughs> what a hot mess you are. All right, guys. This, this is the first for holiday. me. This is the first for me, dude. I and it looks like there's blood on my phone. Yeah, there's blood on my phone. There's cake blood on my phone. If you tried to make any calls last night, let's see. I can't believe you didn't scope this. Do you know that that was one of the things? Is I'm laying in bed, I can't sleep, and I just be, I just kept thinking, any moment he's gonna do a really drunk scope, and then I'll know he's okay, dude. First of all, we really should. Thank whatever Christmas miracle this is, because all the girls and none of the guys, by the way, <laughs> worried about Stanley getting home. And I'm like, he's a fucking dude. He's going to get himself fine. He, we, we took him right to his door. Even when he's I was not choking on his own puke. No. And now we know that he, the reason why you didn't choke on your own puke. Is that you probably had a hose down your fucking throat? <laughs> oh my god, was your stomach pumped? I have no idea. Do you what the feel fuck. like your stomach was pumped? How does your throat I feel? I don't think so because when I came into work today, I started vomiting <laughs> because I walked. Past, I was walking. I took first of all, I, I took a cab in this morning. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck this!" I by the way, what that cost you? That was like twenty five bucks. I uh, twice of what we fucking paid on the Uber yeah, last night. Right? What the fuck? But we were all the way downtown. That's crazy. That's bullshit. Yeah, no, that doesn't mean anything. No, I mean, but, uh, you know how much traffic is in the daytime? Yeah, and exactly. It, isn't it You're night? right. I mean, honestly, what he should have done anyway is just stayed in Manhattan, gone the FDR, and taken the Queensboro Bridge. Exactly. Takes fucking one. You should have got on the ten. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the nine. <laughs> Wait, I made that a Philly accent. I even just realized I can't do a California accent. Stewart. Stewart. Why did you take the ten down to else? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hated that thing, and I fucking cracked. Up I every thought it time. was great. Um. All right, let's the Californians. Uh, Let's go over here to Scott. Scott, go ahead, buddy. Hey, Ronnie, being gang, I think I know what happened to old Foster Brooks Stanley there. Go ahead. Probably, what? yeah, this is what I think happened. He got home, right? They dropped him off, and then he started getting a little rumbly in his tumbly, and he decided to try to walk out and get himself something to eat, and he fell down the stairs or something. And that's how he ended up getting into the hospital. There's no way he was rumbly in the tumbly. No, there, there was no way I could get any more food. No way. And for well, my vomit know, this morning, there was just food from last night. No, no new food. <laughs> you know, when you're drunk, maybe you never made it out to. Maybe you never it's made like, it out to the restaurant. It's like the shark and jaws. They cut the belly open. What did he eat? A whole car? Well, last night they wanted to cut his belly open. And I said, "I'm not going to have that kid in her boy <laughs> drop out on the street, the Lower East Side." <laughs> Um, by the way, your, sir, your theory is as good as any right now. Let's put it on the whiteboard. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's just, sure. Put the board. You know, let, <laughs> let, let's not try to rule anything out. <sighs> Fuck, man. It's really a fucking mystery. Uh, Tommy. Oh, good morning, guys. Just want to say I love your show. You guys rock. Yeah, um, we used to. <laughs> one way you can uh, you can find out how uh, rowdy Mr. Stanley was in the Uber is uh, on the receipt when you're looking at it where you rate the Uber driver, there is a way to get back in contact with the driver. I would like to talk to this guy. (laughs) What did you do with my friend? Can I tell you? You guys can, but I think I'm leaving the room when that happens. But (laughs) I'm all open if you guys want to bother this gentleman and see what happened. To be determined if he's a gentleman. I am. No, we're not going to accuse this guy of rape. I don't care. (laughs) How does your butt feel today? Butt feels okay. That's weird because mine's an Audi (laughs) after the food we had last night. (laughs) Uh, what was you, it, the schmaltz? <laughs> by the way, for people who don't know, schmaltz is just 
Well, it's a chicken fat. Oh, God, it's good. Uh, it's like we took the frying pan and just started drinking. Oh, it's and good. it is. It makes everything taste fantastic. I was just fucking guzzling it basically last night. I know that it was supposed to be for the mashed potatoes and then like that first appetizer, but I used it for everything. Yeah, me too. There wasn't anything that I didn't need schmaltz. <laughs> I saw you eating a pickle covered in schmaltz. And uh, I believe that Vito actually mistaken schmaltz because... <laughs> The vodka was put down on the table, and then they also set down a little thing of cranberry juice for anybody who wanted to make a little mixy. <laughs> and he saw the schmaltz and thought it was orange juice. So he did a shot of vodka with uh, chicken fat in it. Yes, I did. <laughs> and uh, the second I realized it wasn't orange juice is when I put it fuck? in, and it just turned into a little circle inside my vodka. <laughs> and I was it like, didn't mix. I was like, well... Silly I still gotta vodka. drink this. <laughs> <laughs> and I drank it, and I'm not gonna lie, it, uh, it covered up the taste of the vodka pretty well. So, <laughs> new tip chicken fat plus vodka equals delicious. All right. There was uh, another thing that took place. And this is basically we've finished pretty much eating, we're singing, we're dancing, <laughs> but the food is still on the table. I hear some screams. From the table, look out, look out. Now, just let you know what Sammy is Romanian. By the way, I think we all, some of us got T-shirts, and I don't know how they were handed out. Yeah. But it was very exciting. <laughs> Chris, you yeah. may have gotten one and eaten it. <laughs> it's gone now. Um, but as the scream is going on, I look over, and there is a spider coming down. Oh, my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> on its spider thread. Behind Chris's head. It is a large spider. Gail is sitting next to Chris. So you were screaming and going to the right. The girls on the other side of the table were screaming. What? They were the ones who saw it first. It was a spider and almost a Disney spider. It was so big that I could almost make out facial features, right? Now, Stanley turns as the girls are screaming. It's inches from your face. You turn around, you're looking face to face with it, and you just. Smash it in your hands, start to grind. Now, you then take your dirty spider part hands, <laughs> stick it in the mashed potatoes, <laughs> and fucking wipe your hands in the mashed potatoes. Why would I do that? I don't know. You and you just... over. We're trying to figure out how <laughs> you ended up in the hospital. We don't know anything that you'll fucking do, dude. The spider mash is the least of your problems right now. Oh, fuck. And you did just roll spider parts into the mashed potatoes into like a little ball in your hand. Nobody knows why. The spider mash. <laughs> he did the, the spider, spider mash. mash. His head was gauge. <laughs> it was a big fucking gauge. <laughs> I think I have a concussion. Can I see? I want to see. Can I see the wound? Is it dressed? I mean, there? no, there's nothing. Dr Wait, is there stitches? Wait, oh, here. God. Let me here, see, check this shit out. So here, I can I'll use just. The flash yeah, light. use the light. Oh, no, it would be there is where it feels like it hurts. Ooh, okay. Uh, they did not treat it at all. It looks like it's just so wide open. Yeah. Are those little stitches there or that's dried blood? It looks like dried blood, but I can't see if it's stitched or not. Take a nice picture of that, Gail. All right. And maybe somebody can tell us whether they see the stitches. <laughs> this is the greatest fucking mystery of my life. <laughs> This was no accident. It was moida. Standing like that gave. Oh, I'm dizzy now. This right, isn't good. Sit on the. Uh, yeah. You want to get back couch? in? So no. I can get a good angle on it. Here, why don't you just? Um, Hold on, I gotta figure out how to put the flash in this thing. Why don't you uh, just take off your clothes and sit there in your wrestling 1930s leotard <laughs> with your fucking 13 year old amount of chest hair? All right. I don't have a I'll lot of body hair. Up. The fact you keep it is what surprises me. <laughs> yeah, should I fucking spread it more? Yeah. Disgusting. Uh, maybe illegal to be involved in a federal crime. All right. What do you think of that? Can't see it too good. Can I see it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how to take a. Here, use my phone. 
You know how to use the flash? <laughs> I know all about flashing. Uh, people were asking if you were cuffed to the bed, Chris. <laughs> Don't believe I was arrested. I hate when people make things sound even scarier than they are. I know. What the fuck? All right. Gary actually came up with this. Chris needs to check for blood blood stains on the street. There was. Oh, I'll tell you in a second. He'll find blood on the curb in front of his house. Put that up on the whiteboard, too. Yeah, you got a battery back. I brought him back all of his fucking shit that he forgot <laughs> yesterday. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank you. <laughs> yeah, when they uh, when I got all my belongings back, they were all bagged up in fucking biohazard bags from the fucking uh, hospital. Oh, also, this is a fucking weird detail. Um, like, I get my wallet back. And, um, like, I, my wallet, there would be, like, a fucking debit card there and my fucking ID there. But right. they were both all gone. They were all missing. Like, did someone, someone fucking roll me? But everything was taken out, including my insurance card. Oh, God. That's so, why you got to stay. So, exa- exactly. So, I guess, when, when, however, whenever I got to this fucking hospital, they had to go through my shit to find out who the fuck I was because I was unresponsive. I wonder if they even did tests on you or just let you lay there. I there wasn't like a, there was I wasn't hooked up to anything. Yeah, but do you think do you remember like hearing an MRI at all when you sleep? Holy shit. Let me say. I can't tell if that's stitched or not. All right. Put that on your Twitter, too. Okay. Uh, just send it to the iBank, Chris. Okay. Now, here's the deal. All right. Let's go through what we know. He got in the car properly. Well, after shutting the car on his foot a few times. <laughs> We, thanks to the technology, were able to lock in his home so he didn't need to tell the the Uber driver that the Uber driver knew exactly where he lived. Mm-hmm. As he left, we're like, see ya, pal. You're fine now. Good job. <laughs> you're safe. You ended up winning fun guy. Like um, that. Even though your prizes were left and most of your personal belongings... <laughs> That we scooped up uh, later. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't know what your other uh, thing was. Uh, but I will say this. I'm disappointed in your two guys for not hopping in and riding over with you. And I think if they would have drank more, you wouldn't have ended up drinking as much you as know, you did. Thank yeah, you. They because I was thinking the more. same exact thing when I woke up in that hospital bed. I was like, if it wasn't for those two fucking... I'm, they, they were worried about Detailers. being co- pussies. Yeah. They are pussies. There are okay. two pussies in that fucking room waiting to get fucked, and then they get <laughs> fucked by me. Chris has been like an has has been like acting like an asshole, forcing us to drink for three hours. Oh. Do you remember saying that, Joe? Uh, not really. It was very I, funny. I, I, Do you I, remember dancing with the dude? I don't remember dancing with the chick or the dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were dancing. Nice. Uh, well, you did a lot of dancing. Yeah, you did a lot of dancing. We got dance. a rug. It yeah. was fun. I'm not yeah, going to lie. First of all, in any situation, Gail will yell, let's dance. And, <laughs> there's, yeah, if, there's no reason not to dance. Yeah. If, if they were giving out, hey, you're... Heart is really in this award. Gail would have picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. Because we were stumbling around the tables and having fun. But Gail was literally trying to act like she lived in Israel. <laughs> uh-huh. Chris also got really angry at me and said, I will fucking be at work before you tomorrow. I bet you $200. <laughs> oh, and I was God. like, all right, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Don't have it. Why didn't you stay home today, dude? <laughs> had to come in after this fucking craziness had to <laughs> how could I not come in when I have a fucking goddamn mystery on my hands I can't believe this <sighs> alright uh, is it up on the eye bang yet the uh, picture because somebody who understands what stitches would look like should look because 
All right, there's that leotard I was oh talking about. Oh, my good God. Uh, why would I? What the fuck was I fucking doing? Is you were doing exactly what Donnie Love the, asked you. The Bennington Show um, where, where do you even find something like that in a 1930s swim shop? I, I Going know. for a dip down at Coney Island? <laughs> I bet it's a onesie. It is. It must be. Most of my clothing is. <laughs> Love a jumpsuit. I wish you would have just taken the one strap off. <laughs> <Not it hanging. laughs> he only does that after he knocks the other person's head off the turnbuckle. He takes the strap off and just is there like Mr. Like- Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Was Mr. Perfect the guy who did that? That was perfect. Yeah. Did anyone else ever do it? It seems like it was a kind of a common move. <laughs> oh, I, I remember him. I, I don't remember anyone else doing that. Because otherwise, they'd have, just have a fucking leotard with just one strap. But he would have the moment yeah. too. And when he got blown up, or you know, when he was like fucking really get into it, he'll take the he'd take the strap off. It's a weird look. Ah oh, man, I really have no chest hair. That's weird. We have a small patch. You have a little tiny bit. Yeah. It's fucking bizarre. You know, to get rid of it. I mean, it reminded me of my ninth grade chest hair. <laughs> that I, do. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> um, Charlie. Charlie, what's up? Ronnie B., something's wrong. If Everything's wrong, been, dude. If he would have been admitted to a hospital, either A, the hospital would have kept him longer, B, he would have been charged with public disorderly, there's no way they let him go sober. Could this have been like a, like a, what do you call it, like a BS type of 24-hour aftercare type of place? No, it's an actual hospital, Mount Sinai in the My, story of Queens. Yeah, that's a legit I can't hospital. I they released you. I, I, legally, I don't think they should have released you. He wasn't, he wasn't released. I, released. I, no, I wasn't released. I walked out. I, they, I was like, where the fuck are my clothes? They gave, or my belongings or they whatever. Didn't do okay, they gave them to okay, me. Okay, I, thank you guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, I feel better now. He walked out on his own. Okay, so great. he walked, yeah, he definitely walked out on his own. But because th- what you're saying is that means that if he is walking around here with a, a broken brain, right? If, if he they're they're like, hey, outside, we had him in the hospital. If he would have walked outside, cracked his head open, he could have sued the hospital. Right. So, That's okay, we're idea. good. Uh, we're good. <laughs> okay, good. But he was really keeping it. Oh, maybe he's a lawyer. And oh, he's saying, right. do I have a case? You can represent me, dude. I'll fuck. I'll throw it out there. Stanley <laughs> dude, was seriously. that case that they gave me. Dude, serious. <laughs> People have had to say that before. By the way, this is the last Christmas present party we ever do. No, 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 no. Until you get out of rehab, at least. And then we'll have a cake with your name on it. That'll be fun. It'll be like, out of boy, Chris. I hate cake. That's a lie. I can honestly tell you guys, I didn't drink it all last night, and I had a fucking great time. I danced, I jumped around, I joked, I laughed at Danny, that, Danny Love. That was all the best parts. The yeah. dancing and oh, the yeah. laughing. That was the best parts of the night. Fucking that dude, fucking Donnie Love is the best person ever. I loved him. That's how you know you got a problem. No, <laughs> because he's far from the best person ever. I mean, we're better than Donnie Love to you. <laughs> yeah. Did Donnie Love put you in an Uber? No, that's a good point. <laughs> you guys are the best people ever. I don't know because I feel really di- angry that one of us didn't go home with you. Don't feel angry. It happens. I'm fine. I'm at work. It's great. <laughs> Doesn't seem it. other than <laughs> other than when I like leaned over and I felt really dizzy. I feel totally fine. All right, the picture of you is up of your busted head, <laughs> and we don't know whether it's fucking been stapled back together or not. I can't really tell because there's. Are those dark parts? Here's the thing. He has a beautiful. Yeah, he has a. Well, it's collagenating. There's no doubt about that. But he has a beautiful, thick fucking head of hair. He does. It's almost like you've grabbed a wild animal and you're trying to see what happened to it. It's downright luxurious, that hair. (laughs) It's healthy. It's a healthy head of hair. The only thing on me that's healthy. (laughs) I'm just going to ask this. Just from the picture, because I didn't notice here. Are your hands swollen? Because they look <laughs> massive. <laughs> they do look really big. Bigger than usual. Oh, this is bad. I guess it's from the alcohol. There is a lot of blood caked in that nail bed there. Yeah, I, yeah. If if this would have definitely been a Christmas miracle if you would have woke up at rehab. 
That would have been my favorite part. I'd be like, okay, God's will. I did it, man. I got out of that hospital. They tried to keep me. I think I can't tell. I can't. I honestly can't remember because when I woke up at whatever fucking six in the morning, I was fucking blasted still. Because I can't. I remember the doctor said something to me. I remember him being concerned, like you were really fucked up last night, something to that extent. No, he didn't say that. He did not say fucked so, up. Something to that extent. You're fucked up. Um, he said. <laughs> and Chris the, said you're fucked up. <laughs> And the weird, like, I didn't, like, I didn't ask why the fuck I was in there. I didn't ask what happened. Smart. <laughs> you never would have known. I, yeah. I just, so I just, like, fucking stormed out of there as soon as they gave me my puke-covered clothing. So your assumption, then, when you woke up and you were thinking about all of this, you just thought we had never put you in a cab that you Oh, no, just... I, I didn't remember that. I just, I just woke up in the hospital. You and... remember eating steak and then waking up in the hospital. Exactly. Those are, or dan- dancing before or after steak. Well, Those there was before, the there was, there was before, before dancing and, after. and after dancing. I remember the before dancing. I remember the before the first... dancing is when we were going around the room. Do you I... remember Don singing? No. No, are you serious? No, I don't remember that. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, he sang, uh, Living on a Prayer. I have a question. Yeah. Now, was I like, talking to you guys like i was i was i you wouldn't shut the fuck up oh, yeah you were uh, chatty matter of fact we actually had to tell you shut up and donnie love even had to ask you and he was like this chris sit down would you please yeah oh my god trying to see <laughs> that's the weirdest fucking thing <laughs> he was oh. calling you by name really <laughs> i don't know how he knew the name chris <laughs> the first time he said it i was like what the fuck when did he find out chris's name i didn't know how he knew that we were from sirius xm and then no. i also didn't know how he knew that his name was Chris. How the fuck? Why? The iBag did not give the information that we were from Sirius. No. And s- somehow he found out. And then because of that, they're coming around with free t-shirts and like, Donnie's really good, isn't he? It's a shame to <laughs> not share him with the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the club is also managing him. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it so looks if like, anybody could look at that on our Twitter to see if he was stitched up or not. Or even tell me what kind of wound this could possibly be. Is this from fucking falling down or possibly a blackjack if this was the fucking 20s? <laughs> <laughs> you got hit in the fucking head with a, a fucking sock full of hot nickels. <laughs> now, wait, touch on your head where it is. It yeah. is on the back. It's, so it's not at the top. It is on the back. It's on the back. It is the fucking, fucking where my forehead is. It's where my forehead would be if it was in the back of my head. It's the back of my head. You definitely fell backwards into the street. Out of, I think maybe out of the cab. I'm, maybe. I mean, if I couldn't even get my fucking leg into the cab. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? I couldn't fucking manage to sit down at some point. No, you were being obnoxious. I apologize. <laughs> Please <laughs> apologize to yourself. You're the one you really let down. I made it out though. Uh, Gordon, Gordon, what's up? Hey, gang. I think I have a very comprehensive theory of what happened last night. Hmm. So, he, as they were driving across the bridge or thereabout, um, Chris puked all over himself, passed out. He was passed out, puked all over himself. Uh, the Uber driver pulled over to try and, A, revive him and get him out of the cab, but was unable to, um, which would explain the additional time. Um, and then they were close enough to that Mount Sinai hospital that he just pushed him back in the cab, closed the door. But when he did, Chris was slumped up against the door. So they pulled into the emergency room. The Uber driver got out, opened the door. And Chris, being passed out, just fell right out of the cab onto the back of his head. Gail, you nailed that part. And from there, they just dragged him into the ER. And, you know, who knows what happened there. But that's my theory. It's actually... It's not a uh, terrible uh, theory. Not a bad theory. Put it on the whiteboard. <laughs> Put it up. Get it up. <laughs> all right. Good stuff. <laughs> there is a whiteboard. And they are the theories are all down. <laughs> Gordon's on it. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's really, really pieced everything together better than I ever could have. Shane. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah. 
Uh, this, this is going to take a little serious tone, man. Uh, I, I Great. Thanks, Shane. I, I think that he probably choked out a hooker or maybe a hobo and got some blood on his hands, and uh, probably the cops took him to the hospital, and there's some charges pending against him, and he escaped from the hospital. Yeah, that kind of shit ain't going to happen, dude. Yeah. That would, first of all, be in the post. That's <laughs> yeah. how happy they would have been with this. Drunk kills hooker. <laughs> wakes up in hospital. I've also been to a hospital where I saw someone handcuffed. Yeah, to, me too. To the, uh, to the bed there. So yeah. I know that that's what they do when somebody needs to be treated. I wouldn't have been able to get the fuck out of there as no. fast as I did. No way. When, one time um, when I went through the windshield when I got my fucking forehead taken off, right? There was a guy who was fucking tripping, went fucking sideways on it, you know, flipped out. So they had him in the fucking hospital and he's fucking chained up to his bed while he's flipping out and then I'm start trying to talk him down because I'm like fucking hospital people. I'm like, hey, dude, everything that you're fucking thinking and feeling is your thoughts, right? I'm just fucking trying to give him the, the way you talk down somebody who flipped out. But half my fucking forehead is gone. Oh, so I probably just look like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm like, ride that motherfucker, ride it. Find one thing that you like and aim your thoughts towards that. What feels good? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, brother. That's it. Focus on my gone forehead. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, James, what's up? All right, I, I I originally thought that maybe he just killed the Uber driver, so I'm going to modify <laughs> no. that. Uber driver's alive. You get five gonna, stars. Gonna, he was able to charge that. me. How about how about we just say that he puked on himself, and the guy freaked out, made a hard right. Chris tumbled out of the car. <laughs> Busted his head open. Uh, by the way, this wasn't a comedy. This was a real life. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking just a blasted dude out in New York. Oh, all of lonesome. All right, let me get the name of... All right, go, uh, go to the scope, live from the scope spot. See how much you can watch before oh, no. we start to... Oh, no. I don't remember fucking... Live from the smoke spot. That's what I titled. I don't know what you were doing all night. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank God Periscope goes away. Let's see. Yeah, it'll be gone within a few hours. See how much of this you can watch before you want to tap out. There you go. If you all play. Wait, oh. is it Wednesday or Tuesday? 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 We can totally go to Where at? Oh, where's karaoke at, bro? Let's go to Fat Black and do karaoke, yeah? Black Hill? I love Fat Black. you. You right now? Oh my god! Are you a singer? I love karaoke. I really love karaoke. <laughs> I do uh, 2000 R&B though. I really love karaoke. I really do. <laughs> I do Beastie Boys. <laughs> oh my god! My face! <laughs> Not just your face, but there's the leotard uh, rocking too. <laughs> That book's dead. Wait, you didn't do your Star Wars spoilers yet. <laughs> yeah, have you done your Star Wars? Star Wars. Kill this and then say. Alright, let's Star just Wars. stop it. That's bad. We shouldn't let. You know what? I'm not even sure if you drank after that. Um. No, I don't think so. No, I think. After I think even after the. Honestly, after the uh, chugging the vodka and the egg cream thing, I don't think. There was much more drinking. Like, that was pretty much everything hitting him after yeah, that. Yeah. That was a fucking dump trunk of liquor. Fucking and, and and I know that... Here's the weird thing. I know that Gurian left after the egg cream because that was the end of the free food. Right. <laughs> and he said to me, I never saw anyone drink like Chris and be able to handle it so well. I've never seen that my whole life. And then he was gone. Really? Gurian said that? Yeah. To jump around. <laughs> He was jumping around for a while. Uh, so I don't think, you know, that was fairly towards the end of the evening. Yeah, I guess that was. Because but I don't, after I don't, that, you guys went outside. The ladies stayed inside and danced longer. Eventually, 
Vito came back in and was dancing with us, but then I can't really remember. <laughs> but when did I go back inside and just stay there, sitting by myself? All right, your personal physician has called. It's okay. the pit doc. Oh, thank God, pit doc. Pit doc. Should have called you hey, last Ronnie. night. Hey, what's yeah, up? I'm, li- I'm listening to this saga. Uh, if Chris wants to, to after the show today, he can call that hospital and get his medical records, and they can tell him. What I want to know is what his alcohol level was, but they'll they'll tell him what if, if he had a CAT scan or whatever because you know he still might have some damage that he doesn't know about because he walked out. Well, here's so he the probably, thing. I mean, he's he. This is the scary part. He seems like Chris on any other day. As a matter of fact, even more centered. <laughs> yeah. You know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like the reverse of that Harrison Ford thing where he hits his head. Yes, he's actually yes. he's mature. <laughs> but, I mean, don't you think we'd know something, Pit Doc, by now? Wouldn't he? Yeah, well, what he should have done is have somebody do neural checks on him, check to see if he doesn't pass out and die, you know, every every few hours or so. But he probably is fine. He's He's got a skull like a crow bag nun, so it's no big deal. But <laughs> uh, as a check his alcohol level, and if he, I'll check to see on Friday if he has sutures or not. I could possibly take him out. Oh. All right. Now, could you, did you see the, can anybody tell if there's sutures in there? My gut feeling is I, there I isn't. I don't have Wi-Fi access. I'm driving down right now, yeah. so I can't say. All right. Thanks, Pit Doc. Take it easy. All right. Bye. Thanks, Doc. Bye. It's great that you have a personal doctor. It's, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so good. I like to know he's out there. And it, uh, it, it's uh, also great that your personal doctor gave you a kegerator. <laughs> <laughs> For your health. Thanks, but seeing you yourself like you just saw yourself, Chris. Yeah, yeah. And knowing your backstory last night. Yeah. Any interest in maybe putting an end to this kind of behavior? or? Well, I thought about going on a cleanse in February. I mean, after the Super Bowl. And then that, that's what I think maybe, you know, just fucking calm it all down. I mean, just seeing myself right there in that fucking periscope, seeing me dead-eyed, like literally nothing going on inside my fucking brain. It's it's like muscle memory of talking weirdness, you know. Um, that was fucking really sad. <laughs> it's fucking sad. All right, Simon uh, wants to go up on the whiteboard here as we're putting together the series. <laughs> Simon. Yeah, I don't think uh, Chris has stitches because I got stitches this summer in my head. Uh, I was sober, but uh, they gotta shave your head to give you stitches. So I don't think. He's okay. okay, there you go. Now here's the deal. So they just, I mean, they couldn't possibly think that he was in any kind of trouble because they didn't stitch him up. No blood work was done. I'm looking right now to see if there's no any... IVs. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I was just laying in a fucking bed. No. Yeah, they should have given you uh you know, when they give you the IV and it uh, gets your fluids up. Yeah, they just let the mutt fucking drink and fucking sleep it off. Fuck. They don't worry about this as much as us. Now, do you have any plans on calling the hospital and saying do you know anything about I wasn't planning, like, when I woke up this morning, I wasn't planning on it. But now that I think more about the fucking mysteryness of this fucking thing. Yeah, because then maybe they could even tell you who brought you in. Yeah. Yeah, I should, probably should call them <laughs> if I get to it. I mean, so I got this party Christie. <laughs> <laughs> Say you're Christie. Say you're Chris Christie. Are you going to drink tonight? Well, yeah, I'm going to the Christmas party with Jeffrey Gurian. Chris. All right, let me see what the other kids, Vito and Joe, are you guys going to the Christmas party? I mean, after last night, uh, it's going to be hard. I might make an appearance, but maybe just to, you know, supervise Chris. Get the fuck out of here. If you want to be watchdog, that'd be great. I could be Vito, what's your plans for tonight? I'm trying to hit up this fucking free party. Get some more free booze inside (laughs) me. Oh, my God. That's the young gun of the show. He's ready to go. He's got a lot of partying left in him. Yeah. (laughs) Chris is fucking on vapors right now. His body vapors. He's a broken down piece of meat. Look, I got 10 years on the fucking kid, all right? It's Christmas Eve, Chris. You're in the drunk tank with a bloody Um, head. And hands, bloody hands. Oh, and some bloody hands, too. (laughs) I I remember getting up off of the gurney and... uh, (laughs) And looking, looking at the fucking bed, and there was just a big blood stain where my fucking head was. <laughs> so why would they even just fucking? It seems like they gave you no work whatsoever. Yeah, they were just like they were probably annoyed that I was even there. Yeah, and they're annoyed with anybody. They'd be annoyed if a cancer patient came in. They are. They are. Yeah, they're upset about anyone who's in there, but they are particularly 
not happy to treat people who are intoxicated and yeah. treat you like a piece of shit. Oh yeah, while they, they're doing yeah. It. That's probably why they fucking really didn't wait to discharge me. They're like, all right, this drunk just fucking woke up. Here's his shitty clothes and his fucking blue blockers. <laughs> I can't imagine that they didn't think. No one told you that it was important that you were dis- discharged properly? No. I mean, I just fucking, I, I asked someone, hey, where's the exit? And I just walked out. Walked right out. Let me ask you this and just think over your night. Because okay. something might flush. Does a Fargo fucking flying saucer pop into your mind at all? Oh, my oh, God. Shit. Where it was little droplets coming down on your head as you lay outside of the cab. Because I miss, I was, I basically was missing for eight hours. That's basically what happened. Oh, my God. Nine, if you count the blackout starting around 930. It's an abduction. Ugh. Didn't Joe List just, or somebody told us the Joe List story? Recently, about he kept falling asleep on a train for nine fucking hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> back to Cody Island, back up through the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, Soder. Soder told us that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done that in a long time. I used to do that all the time when I would, um, well, before, this was a pre that been fucking cheaper. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was a pre Uber time, you know? It's pre Uber. Pre apps, really. <laughs> I all I had was a flip phone. All right, when we break, we got a lot of. Uh, stuff to do today. Yeah. We will be right back. Bennington. Bennington show. Uh, you ever notice that when the listeners call in, it's never a helpful thing. It's always something bad. Yeah, that is true. Um, Matt in Albany. Matt. Hey, Ron. Hey, Gail. Hi. Uh, I just to tell Pepper, I was in the hospital with my son, and my wife and I were in there, and we were in the overnight uh, wing of the pediatric ward, and the roommate, the uh, mom of the roommate we were with, was just driving us nuts, talking loud and just being obnoxious all night. We said, fuck this. We're going home. We're going to take my two-year-old and just go home. We went out and we told the nurse, we're leaving. You know, we can't take this anymore. And they said, if the doctor doesn't sign your dispatch papers, your insurance will not cover your hospital. But Great. That's something to fall over. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good fun fact for me. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks yeah, so much. Guess what? I- they ain't going to get paid if they're fucking trying to get money out of me. All right, now people are sending in pictures of your about your uh, leotard that you wear. Yeah, and it is exactly Gorilla Monsoon's <laughs> fucking old jersey. I love Monsoon, so I, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> Monsoon was my fucking favorite for whatever reason. Sure, he was a gorilla. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be your favorite? I mean, I love his glasses. Holy shit, I am Gorilla Monsoon. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's you. <laughs> I think I have better hair than Monsoon, though. I mean, not to say, not shooting on him, though. Same fucking chest hair, too, really. <laughs> Patchy, uh, yeah. Just small little patch. <laughs> <laughs> right hey, above uh, the neckline of the uh, leotard. Hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? What's up? Every call's a nightmare, Stanley. Chris, we lose you? You Chris want? in L.A.? Yeah, Chris in L.A. Oh, hey, I thought you were talking to the other Chris. No. Okay, good spirits a little bit there. I've been to his experience a few times. So, Sad. to add to the timeline, uh, if you had puked before or in the Uber, you would have known about it. One, the Uber guy probably wouldn't have picked you up had you already puked all of yourself. And two, if you puked in his car, you would have definitely gotten a charge by like two or three hundred bucks for a cleanup fee. There's no no extra charge on your um. No, no, just straight up fitty. Just straight up, yeah, fitty. 
they will upcharge change. you. Merry Christmas, right. Chris. So what the hell you like it? <laughs> if I wasn't puking in the goddamn car, was I puking in the street? And fuck it, I slip in the puke and fucking fall over. You might have puked on yourself in the hospital, even. Oh shit! But then, then all right. Like so, then then the, the new theory could be that I just fell drunkenly, cracked the head open, and then someone took me to the. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Are you going to call the hospital and find out? Yeah, I'm going to. I have to. I now, need to know. <laughs> this isn't a bottom for you, you said, right? No, nope, going to the Christmas party tonight. I don't think you should. Now. It's for Gurian. With what I know. Yeah. From last night. And I haven't shared with anybody here. Yeah. And shunts. I think that you would feel lower than you do now. Really? By far. Jesus Christ, that's bad. Yeah. Now, you said that you're going to dry out. February, 2016. 2016. It's a dry out year for me. So does that start with, uh, what do you, Lent? I know you're a Lent guy, or you plan on going before the day after the Super Bowl? Day after the Super Bowl, yeah. For how long? I'm, let's see. Last year I dried out around the same time for about six weeks. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to go at least two months. All right, eight weeks. At least two months. During that eight weeks. Yeah. Would you be willing to go to a meeting or two with me? You don't have to talk. Yeah. These are large meetings. All you do is be around people. What scares you about that? I don't know. Um, But, uh, sure, I'll go to a meeting. In those in those eight weeks, no, not one meeting in eight weeks. Would you go to meetings with me? Like, would you at like, least do one a week, one the first week, one the second week? So two. Well, you want to do one a week, right? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How many would you be willing to commit to right now? I'll do. I'll do four. I'll do a month of fucking meetings with you in February. every day. Every day? Yeah, I go every day. Why, you want to go every day? <laughs> no, I got I got four. One a week. One a week. Okay. I'll take that deal. Deal. And um, I won't bring anything up to you. We'll just go in, check it out. Okay. It might be really interesting if you told this story <laughs> because it makes other people feel good about themselves. That they do like the story. Well, they're like, oh, my God, that used to be me. At least I don't have to do that. You know, a lot of uh, shit is uh, a lot of cliches, right, exist in the world that it always makes you roll your eyes, and there, there's plenty in the program. But one that's stuck to me, and it's why I don't mind people saying the cliches or repeating the cliches, because you never know which one's going to stick to anybody. So I'm just like, hey, if that's his. But I remember when a guy got up and he said this thing, and I'm sure he didn't fucking make it up out of his own head. He goes, I never wake up in the morning wishing i had drunk the night before ever right and i'm true. like holy shit the only time i wish that i could have a drink is at the early part of the evenings you know when you guys started drinking last night i want to admit it i look fun but i woke up this morning without this fucking story you know right. what i mean yeah including the thing that i have the now for most people wouldn't go beyond but for you, this goes beyond. That's not good. At least for what I know of you. Yeah. Um. Here's uh, Jules in California. I noticed we're getting a lot of California calls today. They're really relating to Chris Stanley yeah. <laughs> in Los Angeles. The Californians. The West Side, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whiteboard theory. Okay. After losing a game of pickup basketball last night, Chris Stanley drunkenly decides to steal a car, and out comes the buff Jim Norton, or actually Edward Norton, holds him up at gunpoint, tells him to fight the curb and say goodnight. I hope that didn't happen. Did I mean, you I have to bite the curb? I don't have a swastika yeah. tattoo. I actually thought that it would have been Ed, Edward Norton meeting the other, meeting fucking Brad Pitt. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more likely. No, here's the deal. Liz said Spire tweeted this, and I think you would consider her a friend, wouldn't you? Oh, God, yes. And uh, a, I would say a, 
a compadre, you know what I mean? A comrade in arms. Oh, yeah. Here's what she wrote. Hicks Daly has to say to be savored responsibly. Responsibly. You know, that's kicking a man when he's down and covered in blood and puke. <laughs> Literally. That's fucking what happened. Thank gonna, you for nothing. I'm going to give you extra points for not pissing yourself. None. As far as I know, there wasn't any piss, but it, <laughs> I like the fact you're leaving as far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing's could, out of the question. It could have dried because I was fucking apparently passed out for about goddamn nine hours. Do you smell pee right now? No, I do smell vomit on my breath, though. <laughs> oh, That's God. really d- disgusting. Don't I think heard, about it. I heard this kid's joke the other day. So there's these two carrots. Wait, there's these two snowmen. Okay. Standing next to each other. Uh huh. And the one snowman goes like this. Do you smell carrots? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is that a fucking great joke? I fucking laughed my ass off when I heard that. But here's the problem. You do it for kids and they're like, huh? What do you mean? I don't understand. Well, you're fucking stupid then, kid. Jeff, Minnesota. Hey, uh, I think this is we got some bad guys from down by Sioux Falls. <laughs> <laughs> the bear was out last night. Oh, yeah. He took the buckle last night. That's for oh, sure. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> right to the back of the fucking head. Um, you know what's lucky for you, too, Chris? <laughs> what? Well, now that you're going to do your four meetings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll do them in this neighborhood with me. Okay, This cool. is like Broadway stars, television oh, really? stars, comedy stars, yeah. Oh, it's got to get People society. like yourself. <laughs> it changes with the neighborhood, huh? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. The difference between a Lower East Side meeting and an Upper East Side, it's unbelievable. There's one I know that you literally have to be dressed up to speak at. Like you have to put on a suit. Really? The ladies have to wear dresses. Some are more religious than others. Some are a real street. Some don't like you to bring up other drugs besides alcohol. And I'm like, come on, dudes. It's all part of it. Yeah. Why are they looking down on? <laughs> because they're older and they were like, in our day, it was just beer. Why would anyone take drugs? <laughs> we drink 50 you're beers sick. a day. <laughs> yeah, you're a loaded thing. <laughs> I'm not breaking the law with mine. <laughs> It would be interesting to find out my um, blood alcohol level, though. So I'm going to call this hospital and try to figure all this shit out. I mean, really, I probably drank, what, two bottles of vodka? I don't know, Chris. I wasn't sitting there fucking keeping tabs on you. I don't want to be part of the bragging. It's bad. What was that? A little. I was reading this because I wanted to make sure that. Uh, I was hoping it was candy. No. (laughs) He should not take this, I don't think. Did you take it already? I've taken six of them already. Stop it. Don't take any more because it's not for if you have, you know, drinks recently. Steph, well, that's crazy. If they make a fucking uh, medicine, right, that's supposed to help with a hangover, but you're not supposed to take it if you've been drinking. This fucking product <laughs> sucks dick then. It's uh, supposed to be for pain. The fact that it's, it's not generic. Supposed, this is not a, a hangover cure. This is uh, for people in pain. Now a guy has put up Grill Monsoon wearing a scope, bro. <laughs> <laughs> JTH. JTH did that. <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that you were right and I was wrong when I was like, there's nothing to worry about. But when I called Chris this morning, it was like ringing, ringing. I'm like, please, God, let him pick up. And I go, even if he doesn't pick up, I'm sure he's in the. And how many times. Have I ever called you nine o'clock in the morning? Um, I can't. I fucking maybe one other time, if that ever. I don't yeah. remember you ever calling me that. <laughs> now, here's our deal. Our bosses here hate us, hate our guts. Yeah. We never worry about it. And yet this case, I'm like, I'm worried. I better give Chris a call. Yeah. So thank care. you. Thank you for caring. And I had a. Sixth sense about this whole thing. I knew it the whole time. I don't know if it's a sixth sense or a common sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mother's intuition. CJ. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah. Hey, this whole thing is giving me total anxiety, man, listening to that story because of being a, um, an ex drinker, just knowing how that feels. And I'm, I just want to say, he can have that time to feel when he's not drinking. And 
those meetings are going to help just fill that time. If anything, and if that invitation you're giving him is, that's going to be worth thousands of dollars, man. Anybody else would want to take that invitation. So he should definitely take you up on that. I, I, I am. To, I, I just, I just said. Yeah, not just a meeting a week though, bro. Not one meeting a week. Like go to a meeting a day for at least two weeks, fill that time and just listen to stories and get really, uh, but you know, being with Ron would be a, a, almost like having, you know, a, a sponsor there with you, but go one, you're going to have time to fill brother. If you're not Christian. So fill that time at least for an hour a day. And uh, I, I would take Ronnie up on those meetings more than just once a week. That's, but yeah, let's just see what he does. He's going to show up at the first one. Let's see. You know, he might go like this, like, holy shit, Ronnie B. I love it here. Because it's really fucking funny. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of great fucking. It's funny and it's sad and it's fucking angry. And it's like CJ just said, sometimes it's nerve wracking. But it, it's better than any movie you ever go to. <laughs> I guarantee you it's better than fucking Star Wars. Oh, here's the thing on Star Wars, right? So we get shocked the other day because we find out the guy that we thought was going to love Star Wars didn't. Uh, Jermaine Lassier has problems with the movie. Then I get a thing from our pal Leslie, who goes to Sundance, who goes to Toronto, blah, blah, blah. She loved it. Really? She loved it. She says... She's a person who hates the character of Han Solo, just thinks that it's terrible. <laughs> and she ended up thinking this was a fun, terrific movie. That's interesting. I know. I'm shocked. I wonder if it is an entertaining, you know, action kind of sci-fi movie, but it doesn't, it will not appeal to the diehard fans. I think it will appeal to the diehard fans because everything appeals to them. Yeah, they're going to love it. Look, I know the entire script. And guess what? Uh, people think I'm a bullshit liar asshole. I'm not. Because someone who saw the movie confirmed everything I've been saying. So guess what? These are real spoilers. I did read the script. I know everything that happens. I know the entire film. And you know what? I'm going to give out a giant fucking spoiler today. Uh, on Periscope, not on the show. <laughs> No Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you get braggy like that, I stop paying attention. Who's he acting like he's going to beat up? I will spoil the movie. You know, I was almost in an ugly situation. I guess I wasn't in an ugly situation, but it didn't get uglier when I got down there because the fucking bike lane guys started to fucking surround the car and punch it. What the fuck? I fucking came out of there like a fucking maniac. Yeah. I was. Oh, that's it's, right. You were with. Me. I was with you. Yeah. It was fucking nuts. But I'll tell you this: they need to be fucking taught a lesson because the bike, like the that biker, like personality, bike, like bicyclists, not bikers, like right. not motorcyclists, bicyclists. Their their personality and the way they uh, think that they rule the road is infuriating. Most of the fights I have ever been in New York City. Screaming matches have been me and a fucking bicyclist more than even a driver oh, yeah. as a pedestrian. They are assholes. They're pieces of shit. <laughs> and this city bike thing is just making it that much worse. It is. It's giving well, them carte blanche. Or, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, well, there's city bike now. So now it's expected everyone's supposed to be on a fucking bike. Guess what? Well, they don't, they don't, uh, pay attention to the laws of the no, road. They're... They don't give a fuck. Oh, there shouldn't be a, be a, a bike lane. And they don't stop for any fucking red lights themselves. And they act like other people are fucking crazy. No, you're a fucking lunatic. So this asshole was actually hitting the fucking car. Hit the car. I was out of it like a fucking <laughs> like maniac. pounding what the, the back fuck? window. Yeah. It's insane. Here's what they were yelling. Because there was a couple of them yelling, bike lane. Oh, fuck bike you. Bike lane. And, and we're parallel parking. Yeah. What? That's why we're in the bike lane. We're pulling the off to parallel. The fucking roads are for cars, not like bikes. Guys. With your brain in Yeah, you, please. Don't relax. rattle that thing around in there. It doesn't need that. Look, this beautiful, <laughs> this beautiful woman just uh, tweeted to us. Great radio, but Chris, please cut down on the drinking. I promise I will still love listening to you. Aww. That's you sweet. gorgeous women that dig you. Thank you, Not beautiful a, woman. This beautiful Christine. You gotta listen, Chris. February's coming. All right, it's coming. <laughs> Let's hope we make it to February. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. I got eight weeks <laughs> to work a miracle. <laughs> He's got you for eight weeks. You hear that, Hotshot? <laughs> you messed with the bull, and now you're getting the horns. 
So. <laughs> say it again. Don't. Don't say it anymore. No. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. That's the fucking least <laughs> fucking important Stop. movie that's ever been made Stop. in history. You're going to have so many detentions. Stop. I'm having sushi because I am the hot girl. The weird girl is having pixies. <laughs> Pixie sticks covered in cereal on a sandwich. The Get nerd it? is I'm having weird. peanut butter and jelly because he's a, let's face it, a nerd. <laughs> Stupid nerd. The jock is having way too much food because <laughs> yeah. he needs to carbo load. Uh, drag Johnny. Boys, girls. Hello. Peppers. What's up? What's up, bro? It's very scary to listen to this show today. <laughs> is it scary? Is what? it? Yeah. Why? Is it scary when you find out your friend fucking doesn't know how he ended up in the hospital? <clears throat> yeah, that would be the bottom, which could be good. But know? the mystery's fun, isn't it? Here's the fun, here's <laughs> That's the fun my favorite part <laughs> That's today. what I like about <laughs> this. Figuring it all out. And guess what? We've gotten just as far as when you first told us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, but imagine this same story, but Pepper wasn't drinking. So we were just like, what? You don't remember things from our dinner? <laughs> and you don't remember how you got home? We'd and be, in the hospital, he's staying in the hospital. Yeah, we'd, we'd be, be sending getting, him back to the hospital right now. Yeah. We'd have a specialist coming in from New Orleans. <laughs> have a look at his brain. <laughs> I'm looking this over. It seems like your brain, your, your friend's brain is filled with alcohol <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> How did it get in there, son? Drank it. You have a little bit of a mint julep <laughs> while sitting there watching the ladies stroll by the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> So you're scared, Johnny. I'm scared for Pepper, poor kid. Now, do you think he'd be better off like you, weeding it up and not drinking at all? I don't weed it up anymore. Even I haven't, I haven't touched anything in probably six months now. But anything at all. Your nickname was always Josh Whedon. What were you about that? <laughs> I was, was Josh Whedon. <laughs> weed guy. Just, at some point, you just say, "I don't need that anymore. I don't need the crutch. I don't need to worry about any of this." I can't even tell you the last time I had a drop of alcohol. I mean, I could tell you, but I don't remember. And like they say, it's the last call. For alcohol. Let me ask you a question. Does your friend like to pull the cork out every once in a while? <laughs> Bit of the glug glug. I do, actually. First of all, that's not even a saying. <laughs> Down south it is. <laughs> no one says, did you have a bit of the glug glug? <laughs> Most of glug glug. <laughs> uh, also seems like he was filled with some kind of garlic soaked <laughs> steak. His intestines are covered in chicken fat. What's that? Why does chicken fat taste so good? It's so good. <laughs> Put it on everything. It should be on every Schmaltz. table in America, in every restaurant. Like I wish you, we had some You know who was loving it? it? was Joey. Joey was eating his shit out of Schmaltz. Oh, yeah. I was putting it on everything. I didn't even know what it was at first, but that didn't stop me. What was your favorite thing you ate? Because that was all kind of new food to you, all the apps, Yeah, right? definitely either the chopped liver or the uh, sausage. The sausage was really, really good, too. I agree with you on that sausage. For yeah. me, it was a tie between the chopped liver and the kishka. Both, I could have just... Kishka was good. It was so good, and I schmaltzed that, I even schmaltzed though... I schmaltzed that, too. Even though I don't think you're, you're meant to. I think you can. I schmaltzed it up. Yeah, yeah. you schmaltzed it Schmaltz your kishka. <laughs> why, why isn't schmaltz used everywhere? Because like, it's... imagine a breakfast oh. where you're eating chicken and waffles, and you're adding just, like, schmaltz to your waffle? Because it might have been what made Chris pass out and not know how he got to the hospital. It had nothing to do with drinking too much. It was the schmaltz. That's what I de- normally don't have. Call the hospital and find out what your blood schmaltz level was. <laughs> he doesn't even have blood. It just seems that he's got schmaltz running through his veins. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> so delicious. Hmm. I know it says Hicks doesn't like city bike because they don't make bites for beings with four feet. Oh, come on. You know, <laughs> get off my dick today, all right? Look, I can't, I was in a goddamn ER fucking five hours ER. ago. <laughs> five hours ago. Schmaltzy. Come on. That food was delicious. It was awesome. Vito, what was your favorite? I see you hanging over there. My favorite was a tie between the beef sausage and the uh, 
I don't know what it was called, but it was like that flat pancake kind of looking thing. It was like orange. That was the kishka. That was the kishka? Yeah, the kishka. Yeah, the kishka. Yeah, That's like, what I liked. I saw Gurian go, like, take, like, two big pieces because he went, I know this is going to be really good. Yeah. And then I was like, if this guy's going for it. It was yeah, It was like a return to Gurian's uh, Jew childhood. He was loving it. I kept trying to go for more of that stuff when it was on the far end of the table. I actually just got embarrassed and I stopped eating. <laughs> it's so I good. might be embarrassed. It's there for eating. You were sitting next to me. There was no reason to be fucking embarrassed. So here's what the kishka is. It's a Jewish dish made from beef intestine uh, stuffed with flour or matzo meal, schmaltz, mm. and then spices. They love that schmaltz. Mm, so good. So it's that's the casing is a beef intestine? Mm-hmm. Uh, so good. Yeah. It's Jewish sausage. So really? good. We actually had the sausage, which is different. Yeah. That was that more was of a traditional sausage. Very sausage. garlicky, very spicy. But yeah, this was much more smell. bready, yeah. mixed with that kind of meat so very, flavor. It was a very strange te- texture to it. And color. Yeah. It was very orange. Yeah, it was very orange. Did you have the gefilte fish? We Come did on, not. We're not like that Come kind on, of a place. Dude. Yeah. Your fucking racism just came through. A, it's not that person. kind of Jewish. There's more than one kind of Jewish. It's traditional Jewish. This is Romanian, my friend. It's the Romanians aren't even near the fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like if somebody was from Rom- uh and they were like, oh, I went to this place and I had fried chicken. And that would be like them saying, oh, did it come with a fucking bagel? <laughs> because it's in America <laughs> and they're all the same. <laughs> You're all the same. All the, the same. same. Who said anything about schmaltz? So we don't know where Chris Stanley ended up, but we know he did end up there. Yeah. Don't know how I got there. Don't know what happened. Don't know where this wound came from. Don't know what it's all about. <laughs> don't know, know what he's fucking up. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how it happened. I guess I'll try to get to the bottom of it through calling a hospital. And calling about myself. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, do you know how I got there last night? Did I have any get filter fish on me? Because <laughs> my friend Johnny thinks that I went to a restaurant called Passover. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you and the Hard Rock have always been kind to us, right? I, Wh- I try. Why yeah. do you think our bosses here hate us so much? I don't know. They should really cherish you. I would say the same thing. Yeah. They should hold you in such high esteem, higher than they most don't. people. I would like to don't. be treasured. You are, by, by everyone who listens to the show. That's the thing. They get us. Um, but no one else does. Let me just say. I heard it go off. Then you can plug it back in. It's fucking yellow you stone. You want me to go down the hall and talk to a few of those guys? I wish you would, Johnny. I've I never could. asked. I've never come to you before. <laughs> but since today is the wedding of your firstborn daughter, I thought I would come to you. I hope their child is a masculine child. Or maybe you got some ideas of where we could go next, Johnny. I, I do. All right. Maybe you're my manager. I would love that. Oh, I know you have a nice it. dinner at the Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's I do that. Johnny to be our manager. Yeah, do you have Schmaltz there? No, I get you some now. All right, good. I Look got Schmaltz. Right here's I'm gonna you know I never pull the fucking curtain back, right? But here's who else I think is somebody who manages and can get things done. At least I know they do for their people. Stangles. Hmm. The Stangles get it done. Interesting. But they care. And they're even doing that without a lot of radio experience, but just the tenacity to just keep pushing until it gets done. Right. I think there's a little guy who works there now that you used to work with that could get some stuff done for you. A slight little fella. Jeremy Coleman. I think so. Here's the thing about Jeremy. He's into his own, you know, yeah, side, yeah, I know. side of the building. But do you think if I went to him, he'd be open to it? I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> And then you have the two best shows in the building. In some people's opinions. Well, it's all, it's all opinions, isn't it? 
Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know if they're looking for any help over there. I just know that no one cares about us here. That little fella can do it. Well, he's always, you know, he's the guy that brought me to New York. I know. Oh, I know. But here's the thing. I like Eric Stengel. Not so crazy about his brother. Right. You, you know get I mean? both, though. You can't split the yeah, two up. You can't uh, work with one and not both. the other. It's a twofer. They go together like schmaltz and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking we should have invited those guys last night. They would have loved it. Um, <laughs> the schmaltz alone. Uh, I need to break here, Johnny. I want you to think Sirius I, XM I, and then a post Sirius XM uh, world. Okay? I got you covered. I got you covered. And uh, right. next time I'm up there, I'm going to talk to some people. Good. Talk to the people. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Later. Johnny talking to people. I got Chris in fucking meetings. Really getting things together today. Uh, I got Jonah's nice Reebok fucking thing that he wears every time. <laughs> As you requested. <laughs> I do this for you guys. <laughs> Were you mad at Chris for the dr- amount of drinking last night? Well, I just, I guess I just wasn't prepared for it until literally any time we would finish a drink, he would be like, come on, you pussy! <laughs> and then, and then he would, uh, that's not just responsible, it. Chris. No, it's not. Fun, though. If any words, is it? Is the I, back of your head fun today? No, it hurts. <laughs> Waking up in a fucking hospital, not fun. Eating a lot of this Advil, though, I think it's really going to help the head wound. All right, let's break. Right back. Uh, Bennington Show.